I think their update post got like cut in half or something. There's half of this content is actually not even in it. Hi, welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking about some of the upcoming updates, especially for the rest of October. And a lot of it is going to impact the clan battle meta. So if you are interested in something like that, then keep watching. But all in all, I think the majority of it is going to be the same. It's just that I, I think CR actually forgot to put the second half of their post here. I don't know, maybe they ran out of character limits because of this list over here. Either way, it's all good. But that's okay, guys, because I've got you covered. All right, and so let's kick things off with the Halloween Misaki focus banner. And so hopefully you guys by now know about H. Misaki. H. Misaki is a real queen in the PvP. She's not really crazy crazy. She's not like crazy meta defining, though she is pretty freaking annoying. But on top of that, she does have some CB utility. I would say for some people, it's really niche. For others, not really. But I guess just depending on the other characters we get, like if we get Nanaka, stuff like that, it really is going to affect what our CB is going to look like, the, the one that's coming up right now. And so in a nutshell, should you roll for Halloween Misaki? Uh, <laughs> I'm still thinking about it, to be honest. And the only reason is because, like, look at that smile, guys. That's... <laughs> It's so cute. But otherwise, if you guys do not have enough for a spark and you are waiting for Christina, you guys have, have got to pass. And so just by the dates on this banner, you can see October 12 going to October 25. And so this is a 13 day banner, which is pretty decent. I don't know about you guys, but I think I've seen like 18 day banners for two stars. So yeah, whatever. But the real conclusion that we can draw from this is October 25. This means that Christina is probably coming at October 26. And so that is actually only about like 20 days from now. And so get hype guys and so therefore my advice for you for halloween misaki is roll only if you really like her or if you're actually really really freaking comfortable all right moving on next we have the october clan battle and so okay this one is really really interesting because as you can see here a new third difficulty tier starting from your clan's six lap forward and so if you guys are in like the t what t50 t100 t300 whatever it may be and you guys are actually able to achieve lap six and beyond that then this is a 100% going to affect you because uh, it, get, it gets really, really janky here. And it's really janky because, you know what? I'll just show you guys. All right, guys, we are on pre-calc. We have the JP data loaded up and we're looking at Clan Battle 9. And so as you can see, it's the Centaur guy over here. And so let's have a look at the progression through each of the three phases. We've got 200 defense, 200 defense, blah, 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 150, 150, 180, and 70 M defense here. And then so hopping down to lap two to five, AKA is your phase two. You've only got like a 50 defense increase here and then an M defense increase here and then for some reason this guy drops all of his m defense and then we've got the last two bosses with 300 defense over here and 270 m defense here and so up until now generally speaking all of our bosses have had about 300 defense or m defense or lower and so with that being said let me introduce you guys to lap three and here you're going to see 370 defense for wyvern 340 and 380 for griffin and then 385 and 290 290 is not too bad but then 320 380 and then 370 these are honestly pretty insane defense values like it's gonna drop our dps or our total overall damage by quite a fair bit and so there are a lot of interesting things about this one because like a we don't have christina and if you guys don't know about christina essentially she does massive massive damage but on top of that she also provides defense down as well b we don't have the unique equipment for ray who provides about 60 defense down physical defense down and obviously it scales more as she levels up more and so these two are like major reasons as to why we might struggle a little bit on these bosses down here. These defense values are actually like, <laughs> honestly, in my opinion, right now, they're kind of like out of the world, right? Because if you guys didn't know, defense scales really hard actually. And so if they're going from like, for example, this one, 300 and then going up to 370 defense. And for example, if one of our team comps could take down like 200 defense, so where this would normally be minus 200, so we would take him down to 100 defense. And then so using the same comp for this guy, we would only be able to take him down to 170 defense. Like that 70 defense is actually going to provide provide so much damage mitigation for the centaur. And so therefore the attack allocations become so freaking important. You can see 60 M defense here, 290 M defense, or if you compare it within the same phase, 60 M defense, 250, 200, 270, 200. Obviously these aren't the only things that really matter for the team compositions and your hit allocations. But yeah, this CB is probably gonna be one of the roughest, especially for everyone who can make it past lap six. And so I haven't got my CB prep video out right now. And honestly, I don't know if there's any like like KR or other resources that we could leverage because they're certainly going to feature like Christina and Ray's UE as well. And so the only thing that I've got floating around in my head is that you're going to have to level every single source of defense down that you can find. And who 
who I'm really alluding to is Shinobu, just the OG Shinobu. And to be honest, her defense down really sucks, but I think, I think it's gonna be worth it in this case. However, if you guys are a little bit more casual, then like, screw it, just freaking chill. And honestly, the past five minutes probably doesn't even apply to you. And so again, I will cover this more extensively in like a CB prep video. But for now, let's move on and let's just keep getting hyped for all of the other upcoming events. And so just moving through this post, next we have the Tower of Luna. Oh my god, I am so happy that I'm able to see this guy every month now. Because all I can see is more gemmies, you know what I'm saying? Like, ho ho, cha-ching. Anyway, this time we have the Frankenstein boss. And so we are getting another 40 floors of unique monsters. And so like I said in my last video, your progress from the last Tower of Luna event is carried over and you can continue the ascent from the floor you left off. And so if you guys did manage to clear up to floor 70, that means you'll be starting from 71 and going to 110. I suspect there will also be a floor 110 EX as well. And so be prepared for that. But I think generally speaking, we are a little bit over leveled in terms of like comparing to KR, no, to JP and CN. But on the other hand, again, we don't have the UEs and we don't have Christina at this point. Either way, you guys already know what's good. I am going to come at you with a Lunar Tower guide. Hopefully that is going to be applicable to us. All right. And so with that being said, let's move on. So we have a whole bunch of game updates. We will be getting area 17, which I believe is the Ilya shards for the hard modes. And on top of that, we're also, oh, okay. Here, yeah, we're also getting Pekarin and we're also getting Eriko. Man, that was a, that was really testing my memory. <laughs> okay. And so with all of that, we are also getting main story chapter nine and episode one to six, which is freaking sick. I don't know about you guys, but I'm always keen for more story. And so moving on, we are getting the level cap increase from 110 to 112. And last but not least in this post, at least we are going to be getting the Memorial Jukebox. And so this is really cool because this is kind of like the first of many QOLs for our background stuff. What I mean by background stuff is that if any of you guys have played the JP versions, you'll see that we have sick name cards or like they can actually play like scenes and stuff for their backgrounds. And so this one in particular, it's essentially going to allow you to change your background music for both your home screen and within the guild house. And all it's going to cost is a bunch of rupees for these songs down here. And so yeah, that's really awesome. I love to see it. I can't wait until more of these like customization features come out. All right. And so moving on and it looks like there's nothing left, but really there is actually, like I said before, I think they actually missed half of their post here. And so let's jump over to their Twitter and have a look. Halloween Misake, we have covered the game update news we have covered. And so here is where the good stuff begins. We have the Hard Quest Times 2 coming out on October 21st. That is 15 days from now. And so before that, we are going to be getting the normal quest drops times 2. And so this bad boy is coming on the 16th, which is about 10 days from now. And so something I wanted to point out is that 10 days from now, October 16th, if I come back up and look at the CB, you'll see that the CB is going to be starting on the 20th. And so what this means is that we actually have some time to farm for some equipment before going into the October a clan battle. And so two times normal is dropping on the 16th. Clan battle is dropping on the 20th. And the new gear is dropping on, I believe the 12th. Yep. This guy over here. So 11-4 again, two times drop before CB. We've got four days before it to farm it. And then away we go. <laughs> This is, uh, in my opinion, it's good news. There's probably a lot of like mixed thoughts behind something like this. So like some people like the two times normal drops while CB was going on, because what it means is that they could refresh for the stamina to take advantage of the 2X, but also on top of that to actually get those clan battle points because you need freaking 900 points to actually be able to clear all three clan battle attacks. And so they really liked being able to refresh to not only get the gears, but also be able to attack. Me personally, I like the fact that we have four days to actually prepare before going into clan battle. And so hopefully what that means is that on day one, everybody is going to be geared the same. And so in my opinion, that's just a little bit more competitive, you know? All right. And so that is that. Let's come back over here to the Twitter. And so we've covered the normal quest times two. We've covered the jukebox. So we've covered the October clan battle. We have also covered the Tower of Luna, aka the Luna Tower. And I think the last thing is the Grotto, which is already in motion until October 16th, in which the normal times two is going to start. And so, yeah, I think that's all of the updates that Crunchyroll has announced for the rest of this month. And so with that, I am going to leave you guys with a secret message. And that is 
big defense because we're about to go into a world of pain because of a lot of uncertainty, especially around like these phase three bosses. However, for some people that might spice things up for the clans that actually do like the hardcore research or like the hardcore timelining, they're going to be handsomely rewarded. And so that is why big defense, this big defense is going to shake things up in my opinion. And so if you guys could drop the secret message, big defense down into the comments below, I would really appreciate it because it means you've watched up until the end of the video. And so thank you guys so much. But otherwise, please consider a like, a sub, a comment, a follow. You already know what it is. And if you would like to support the channel, we have some affiliate links as well as a membership thing in the description. But otherwise, as this mole rat thing, Mega Rapan once said, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.